Hello everyone. This video is about introduction to Java server pages. In short, we call it as JSP. So JSP basically is a server side scripting language. We make use of this server side scripting language that enables for dynamic and platform independent web applications to run across the network. So it has got all the functionalities basically which are related to the java including the java apis which enables us to connect to various other platforms and other programming languages to interface and use this their corresponding functionalities so this includes even the jdbc which you will make try to connect to your different databases even the enterprise databases which are having a large quantity of data be accessed onto your web pages. So JSP is a server-side programming technology that enables the creation of dynamic and platform independent methods for building your web-based applications. If you look to the life cycle of a JSP, so if we write a program with a .jsp file or .jsp page, so that page or your file get translated to .java file on the server side. So the .java file, after the compilation, you get the corresponding .class file. So the .class file is a basically a platform independent. It can run on any other, other set of hardware environment where you can run your web pages very easily. So based on the user request, the, keeps, uh, the .class file gets runs the appropriate functions and they get reinitialized according to their programming features or the user requirements so if you look to the simple jsp file so your java program is been embedded into your html script file so here if you see your the html tags with html head body section paragraph followed by you see there is a, a, a left angular blaze followed by a percentage symbol uh, after that you have equal to then you have a new java.util.date function which in the closing of that particular tag so this particular percentage tag indicates basically it is a jsp tag so in the past people used to use this particular tag as we can call it as when as a scriptlet so there are different types of uh, tags that can be used for different types of statements so here basically you are using equal to symbol it ind indicates that is basically an expression statement which you are getting the date and time so here we embed a java programming statement inside our particular html file so when this particular dot jsp file is being translated to your in other terms it has been compiled you get the dot java file so if you see the dot java file here you are using the out object which is writing the direct html tags followed by the actual java file here you are trying to use with your print function or the java statements which have been executed with your print statement so this is how your dot java file looks when it is get translated so a dot jsp file is converted to your dot java file and this is your output stream writer so which you have used the file writers or your file readers when you when you have studied in your Java programming language, you may have understood the stream writing means out the standard output device and the standard input device for reading the data. So here we are writing standard to the standard output device using the out object dot write, and you are using the print method also to display the corresponding the Java function using the util package. So these are the output looks like. So now the basic constructs. If you see, we are seeing what your basic HTML tags are. So they are directly copied onto your output that is to your browser and you are writing your jsp tags with your expression statements with percentage equal to which indicates that basically it is a jsp statement you can also have directives which you can include other files you can have declarations like what you declare your java variables and your initialize those variables and you can write other set of scriptlets so if you see here a small example uh, percentage symbol followed by at the rate symbol at the rate includes a directive so here the directive is been made to use something like include the packages or include a particular jsp file so this will inform 
to your compiler at that compilation time to include these particular set of files for you handling this corresponding data to be executed on this page when it is rendered onto your uh, web browser. So you can use uh, at the rate symbol for your directives. That's what the thing to be understood. And whenever you declare some variables of a particular data type, you use the exclamatory mark. So this exclamatory mark, which has been preceded by your percentage symbol indicates that it's basically a, a declaration statement, which has been used in your JSP file. So here, if you see a small example, so you are declaring a variable n of integer type and initialized to zero. So, and you are displaying that per corresponding n value whenever the page is getting refreshed. So whenever it, the count value reaches to the 10, you are again initializing with your zero. So this is how you can declare your variables. You can access other files or include other files from using your directory statements, as well as you can write your expression statements using equal to percentage equal to basically a yes, JSP tag. So the scriptlets, there are various sections of Java codes embedded. Unlike expressions, they don't return any value, but may directly write to the web page using the response.getWriter method. So they are, apart from the JSP scriptlet tags, we have other set of objects that you have seen just now out and you have used the configuration file and basically your web application. So whenever you are trying to request and send, so or request and receive, you use the objects like request, response, and the session variables to keep track of your web page tracking. So request and response, you know very well, whenever there is a, a request comes from the client to the server and the corresponding response is given with your response object. So here, the form processing, whenever you put some client interactivity using your form on your web page, you try to get uh, you get and use the get and post methods like what you do usually in the client server environment similarly you also use your get and post methods you can use the request and the response methods for sending and receiving the request and replies from your server so this is a small uh, example which your gsp page looks like a normal html page but here we are giving the uh, scriptlets with the rate implies that you're using um, a, a directive which implies that you are using the uh, set of statements or the functionalities that you be considered in your program so let us see a small demos here uh, then we'll come back to this so once you, the demos are been given uh, using an eclipse id so you can use the same eclipse id provided you have installed two important things one is the tomcat server basically your apache tomcat server which is acting like your jsp server to be running on the server side as well as you can enable the web options that could be uh, web contents to be embedded onto your html files so these two libraries you can install it from your install new software so once you go to the new software you can see the version of eclipse that you are using and you can select the corresponding options here so once you install it, so your project explorer looks like this. So you can go to file, go to the new. So you are using a dynamic web project. So you select the dynamic web project. So once you select the dynamic web project, you say that this is something like project three. Then you click finish. So your project three folder is been created. If you see, it includes the Java resources where this source files contains basically your uh, Java files and your web contents here. You can include different JSP pages. So under the web content section, you will include the .jsp pages and under source contents, you can include your Java files. Under the web content, so you can go to the new. So you are including a new JSP file. So the JSP file, you can give a name here, something like sample one dot jsp and click finish so the sample one dot jsp has been given with a syntax here so here this first statement gives an error basically it implies that you need to connect to the uh, server here that is the local host server where tomcat is going to run here and you can embed the statements here in the body section so here this is how you write the program you can Try to look for this particular sample program which I have given here. 
so this file dot file one dot jsp is this simple this is a demo on jsp you can run this particular file so you can run as select the file run on the server so you can select the tomcat web server which is running here and this is how you can run your directly you get the web page to be displayed on this eclipse id or you can run it on your web browser too so this is the first program uh, sample file so now if you look to the second program the jsp project 2 so here in the jsp project 2 we have the dot jsp consists of two files one is status and another is user registration so if you see the user registration page you have your uh, user registration form is being given here under the form you have various elements the first name last name username password so these are you normally design your web page with your form contents then and here the post method the post method includes the user underscore register that's a form action user underscore register dot java so what you write in the java is basically your http request and the response that you get it so here so it is a http user registration http servlet it is getting the do post methods you can have do get and do post so you have do post methods includes you are getting the parameter the first name from the request when the particular page the form is getting or sending the data to the server it gets the first name and is storing on the local variable the first name similarly the local variables last name username and so on and so forth so if at all there are empty again you are going back to the user registration page which includes the request dispatcher otherwise you can go to the status page which indicates that that particular data has been collected from the user form and it has been given to the server variables so these first name last name and all are going to be used on the server side so this is a small demo so let us see how this demo is going to run. select the jsp page right click it run as run on server once you click the run on servers you select the tomcat server so you get the registration page here so you give the corresponding data or first name last name you can give the form validation techniques all those things what you learn the basics on the html do work here so this is just a, a small demo to illustrate you how it goes on so that particular variables have been collected the variables values have been collected by the server and it is going to the a welcome user page or a new user page and so on and so forth so this is how you try to embed your dot uh, java statements on your web pages using jsp thank you so the reference you can refer to this particular programming java server pages then you can get more explorations on the jsp thank you